Hey, what's up? It's Craig the Natural Medic, and I'm out here in San Juan County, New Mexico, on BLM land. See where I'm parked over there. Um, that person is standing. That's the entrance to what is known as the Bisti Dinazine. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Um, wilderness, which is part of the BLM uh, properties here outside of. Uh, Farmington, New Mexico. So let's go check it out. Okay, so I've walked out about almost a mile. I'm out here in the Badlands part. Let's take a look around. Look at this right here. The backside of a hoodoo. Four hoodoos. It's part of the worldly landscape for sure. Way back behind me, maybe you could see a little white tent that was like a pavilion at the parking area. But let's just spin around here. Take a look at everything. So crazy looking. Not much vegetation and not much to block the wind. So it's pretty windy out here. Yeah, so I'm about a mile in to the from the main gate into the wilderness here. Let's take a look and see what we can see. Wow, lots of weird, otherworldly looking terrain for sure. Lots of hoodoos and eroded banks and Hey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're liking the content so far. Helps me get it out to YouTube so other people can see it. Thanks. Yeah, and remember what I said about no designated trails? Yeah, that's accurate. That is accurate. If you want to look here, you just have to figure out the point of least resistance. Not total least resistance because you don't want to fall. There's many places that you could go down on these into these little canyons and stuff like this one to me looks pretty good to walk out of if I go down here so let me try to go down here and I'll see you in a minute and I know I use a lot of pop culture references in my videos but this muddy looking crust on top of all the formations reminds me of like Groot's skin on Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I know he's wood, but it looks like that. So if you look closer over here, yeah, it's bumpy, barky looking. And look at these cool hoodoos. It's a whole bunch of hoodoos right here, just doing the hoodoo thing. I'm gonna walk over this way. Um, there's several formations that are named over that way, so go check those out. Very cool. I did not go down the way that I intended, but I did get down and didn't bust my butt. Yeah, I think there's many things you could interpret from all these different shapes out here in the Badlands. But I think this one is really unique. If you look at it, it looks to me like a maybe a baby bird, maybe a baby bird escaping from the egg. Maybe a gargoyle, maybe a gargoyle, maybe a... What do you think it looks like? I definitely apologize for the wind, but if you look over here, some really cool formations. It's right over this red topped hill here, they call it the egg hatchery. So we're going to head there next. The beginning of the trail, or over there, way over there where you see that white top, if you can see that at all. That's where the trail started. One thing I do want to point out is the tread of the ground. <laughs> you can see me walking here. This stuff is pretty pretty soft in places and a little slippery so if you're out here watch your step and uh, make sure that you know that this stuff could give way at any time. That is all. Came to the end of that little crevice or crevasse or whatever you want to call it between those hills and I fell because I I have a little blood right there. But I'm going to continue this way and see if I can get to the egg garden. Okay. I just came from straight in front of me over here. And I get down here. And I 
need to figure out a way to do that easily. Yeah, that could be interesting. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I think I've overstayed my welcome today. This was just supposed to be an exploratory trip to <laughs> the wilderness. And I've definitely enjoyed it, but I did hurt myself. I'm a little hungry. I'm a little thirsty. I do have more water to drink. I'm going to drink after I finish filming this. And then I'm going to go back to the house, and I can come back another day. It's only 45 minutes from Farmington. If you do come out, make sure that you use good sense for your navigation. Use some kind of hard points to, to navigate. Printed map would be good. You could download the All Trails map, but the map, but the trail really is not marked. It really doesn't help you that much. But I want to show you this. You can see this behind me. is a bunch of egg-shaped rock formations. <laughs> These, this is called the egg hatchery. And you can see clearly now <laughs> how tall that little bluff there was that I was on. But this is the egg hatchery. There's all kinds of eggs, egg looking rocks here. How cool is that? But I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm going to walk back to the truck and we'll explore this another day. Good idea to come out here would be to come out at, uh, at sun up and see some beautiful sunrise instead of being out here in the middle of the day when it's the hottest. Another cool feature right here is called the rock garden. Obviously because of all the rocks. Duh. But that's, I think, three of the name features I've showed you on this, on this visit to the wilderness. Pretty cool. So we're going to keep walking this way towards the cell phone antenna, whatever kind of antenna that is, to get out of here. Anyway, if you're coming out to a remote area like this, it doesn't matter if it's a badlands, a forest, what, whatever it is, a national park, if you're out in the backcountry national park, or wherever you are, we need to have certain things in place to, to make sure you're being safe. If you're coming out to a wild place like this, I'm 45 minutes to an hour from town, like from any town. <laughs> There's a couple of things in between here in Farmington, but just not a lot. But if you're going to come out here to a place like this, make sure you tell somebody where you're going, number one. Number two, make sure that you have adequate supplies. I brought two liters of water out here. I've been wandering around for almost three hours. And it may not be enough. I've got about a half liter left. Luckily, I'm not that far from going back to the truck, but you know, that's good. I did fall down and hit my wrist. I have a first aid kit. Matter of fact, I have two of them. I have a little compact one that I got from a dollar and whatever it is nowadays, a Dollar Tree. It's got some Band-Aids and some swabs. I usually use that one so I don't have to break into my other one. But I haven't cleaned that wound yet. It's only a small little wound. It just bled a lot. I guess it's the way I fell on my wrist. It, yeah, they cut it just right. And it bled a little bit. Anyway, not back to the truck yet. Give you a finalized summary of things once I get back to the truck. But overall, it's pretty cool out here. Just if you come out to a place like this or any place that you're not very familiar with, make sure you have your 10 essentials. I've gone over those in a previous video. I'll link it below so you can review it. And actually, you can hear the wind over there to off my right shoulder is the boundary for the wilderness area. So there's a fence there. So I was a little bit too far north to come back on the trail. It's a good thing I looked at my, my all trails. But what I was gonna say, you're a long way from help out here. Some of the guys and gals that I know that work the ambulance in, at, in San Juan County, good folks, but most of them are stationed quite a ways north of here. It's gonna be a while where you get some response. And even if they send a helicopter, it's still gonna be 15, 20 minutes, probably before they get here. So good idea to have a Garmin device. We talked about that before in videos. It's, it's very useful. Or something similar, doesn't really matter exactly if you have that one, but something similar in case you run into some issues because it's definitely possible. And if you're like me and you're by yourself a lot, you need one. 
save your pennies for some type of satellite beacon communicator rescue device or combination thereof. I'm testing a new one here pretty soon. Stay tuned for that one. Okay, I safely made it back to the parking lot. I know you were probably worried. I haven't cleaned up my arm yet. But I feel good. There was some Chinese Americans and some Chinese people that were at the beginning of the trail and they were like, how far did you go? And I said, oh, about five miles. And they said, how long did you take it? I said, it took about three and a half hours. And they said, oh my gosh, let's take a picture with the American hero. <laughs> so funny, such nice people though. So if you're watching this guys, David, and I didn't get the other guy's name. Hi. Anyway, overall, not a bad trip. Probably should have started about three hours earlier and taken probably another couple liters of water just to be safe. But if you've ever been here before, I'd love to know that. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Until next time, I will see you on the trail. Bye-bye.